One thing's for certain, there will always be a need for Spider-Man. And when Peter Parker was killed, that responsibility fell onto the 16 year old kid named Miles Morales. This character has literally taken the world by storm, which is impressive considering the fact that he was only created back in 2011, which is 12 years ago, which makes me feel so old. But after years of reading his comics and enjoying the Spider-Verse movie and playing as him in his own video game, he's become one of my favorite characters. I mean, what's really not to like about this kid? He's got the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. Uh, no. But today I want to find out if it's possible to really become a real life Miles Morales Spider-Man. Like obviously you won't have the exact same powers of the spider, but how close can we really get? And to be honest, I think we can even mimic Spider-Sense. So let's find out if I'm right. What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior, Aviators and the Super Robot, and welcome to the Modern Ninja. And here is yet another episode of the Fight Like a Superhero series on the Black History Week uh themed week on this channel. It's the first of all the theme weeks here on the channel, so if you're looking forward to the rest of this theme week or the future themed weeks, make sure to subscribe. But let's dive into how to become Miles Morales. Obviously, uh, you're gonna have to start off with getting some top tier gymnastics lessons. Like I'm talking Olympic level. Gymnastics includes all kinds of physical exercises that train balance, strength, flexibility, agility, coordination, and endurance. All of which is gonna be mandatory for being pretty much any of the spider people you want. So you wanna be Silk, gymnastics. Peter Parker, Spider-Man, gymnastics. You wanna be Spider-Ham, gymnastics. And that of course goes for our boy Miles. Gymnastics can actually vary widely depending on what events you choose to focus on. So you're gonna to wanna to focus on the floor, the vault, the various bars that they have, the various beams that they have, and the ring. And we're gonna train every one of them to Olympic level. But Miles does have a very specific flair to his gymnastics, and so we're gonna add in some parkour and tricking training. Parkour being discipline where people get from point A to point B in the fastest way possible, using gymnastics maneuvers to get over, under, and around any obstacles in their way. And it actually also takes some influence from breakdancing. This will help give your movement style more of a mild spur than rather just a standard spider person look. I'm looking at you, Peter. Next, we're gonna have to work on our martial arts because all the spider people know how to throw hands. We're actually gonna start with a kickboxing base. Now, I know many of you are gonna be expecting me to use more of a taekwondo base, so that would rather be more true for someone like maybe Peter Parker. However, Miles relies on his punches almost just as much as his kicks. And that's partly because of his electric blast, which we will get into in a minute. And so with kickboxing, it's gonna be much more balanced with kicks and punches, making it much more like Miles specifically. Now there are many different styles of kickboxing out there, like karate-based kickboxing, Muay Thai-based kickboxing, and even sabat-based kickboxing. But it really doesn't matter because we're gonna be adding some other styles into our fighting style to build it up into more accurately Miles. Specifically, we're gonna add two other styles to round out our Miles Morales combat. That first being, of course, Taekwondo, and the second being Capoeira. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Taekwondo is. It's a Korean style that focuses on head height kicks, jumping kicks, spinning kicks, and everything in between. This will help make those tricking kicks more powerful and sturdy without losing any of the speed. And Capoeira is an Afro-Brazilian martial art that combines dance, acrobatics, offensive strikes, and defensive maneuvers. This style was actually created to be hidden in dance because slaves who created the style had no other way to practice to protect themselves, which I think is a fact that's absolutely wild to think about. Capoeira specifically will make our Miles Morales build much more fluid and aid in teaching you how to dodge effectively. And of course, we're going to need to be able to use our spider sense and make sure our dodging is on point because Capoeira by itself might not be enough. And I honestly think it's totally possible to do or at least mimic spider sense. First, you got to drop a like on this video and subscribe obviously. <laughs> but for real, all it takes is some training and experience because a ton of martial artists already do it. It's called reading people. In combat, people have what's called a tell. Maybe they shift their weight awkwardly before throwing a kick or they lean in before throwing a punch. A really popular one is rearing back to throw a punch. That's a super popular one. If you don't have any martial arts training, you probably do that one. But everyone has tells. Even professional fighters who train to not have them 
still kind of have them if you're smart enough to pick up on it. So I suggest specking into point fighting. This will not only allow you to work on your speed, but after fighting enough time, you will start to be able to predict what someone else is gonna do before they even do it. Like you'll be able to see all the little details that someone does as they throw a technique basically allowing you to mimic spider sense. Now I did a full video breaking down this whole concept last year. So click the link in the description or wherever it is in the corner if you wanna watch the full video about spider sense alone. But with enough training, it would absolutely look just like spider sense when fighting someone untrained. And against someone who is trained, it would still be super annoying to deal with. And when we put all that stuff together, we start to look just like the best Spider-Man around. Miles Morales. So tell me, who should I do next? Another spider person or someone completely different? Let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about the real life spider sense or this other one that YouTube thinks you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.